Hi, this is Bruce with Dabowski Studio. Thank you for joining me today. Just want to mention uh, first off before we get started on the next little demo here that uh, what's going to be doing uh, the next video is going to be doing my part two on the candy still life that I had started. Uh, that was my last video, of course, was part one and had a little accident in the studio uh, courtesy my cat. So that's why I do not let them up in the studio anymore. Now I remember. I uh, thought I'd be nice. She was meowing at the door. Uh, make a long story short, she knocked over the still life. And uh, it's been so long since I've uploaded it because I've been trying to basically recreate uh, the exact still life and uh, wasn't happening. So we're just moving on and I'm going to be doing a landscape demo today. So thanks for joining me. And for all you subscribers that have been with me for a while, thank you very much. Really appreciate uh, your interest in my channel. And if you're new to the channel, thank you for joining us. Okay, for today's uh, landscape demo, uh, I'm going to be working on a 18 by 18 inch uh, panel, a stretch canvas that I had uh, sitting around the studio with a warm toned uh, on there. I believe I used uh, burnt sienna or burnt umber. And this is the uh, picture I'm going to be working from today. Some hay bales. It's not a great photo. I don't need a great photo. What I'm going to attempt to do is uh, work with simplifying the, uh, try to find the averages in the different colors. If I squint, trying to simulate like I'm outdoors in plain air, since it's still, of course, winter here in Maine, it's supposed to get another snowstorm. So let's get started. And let me show you the uh, palette I'm going to be using today. Hold on. All right, I'm going to be using a limited palette today. And uh, we'll start from the left there. It's going to be Cad Red Light and Small Tube. Some Cad Yellow Pale. Of course, Titanium White. French Ultramarine Blue. And on the far right, Ivory Black. And uh, practice some color mixing. I do like using the limited palettes a lot. Gives you not too much to think about when you're picking a color to try to simulate the color that you're mixing in nature and allows for a little more speed when you're doing some uh, outdoor work and again I'm going to try to simulate that I'm painting uh, outdoors and uh, I'm going to try this fast and see what happens.
Okay, so this is where I'm at at about uh, one hour. And I've just been kind of scrubbing in some basic colors and I'll be refining uh, as I go along. And I decided to spend a little more time refining some of the bales uh, ahead of the trees so that when I do the trees, it's easy to focus in too much on the detail in the background areas. And I really want to try to not have those compete because of all the uh, branches, excuse me, branches and such inside the background. I'm going to try to minimize that a bit so that this pops more. And uh, I'll probably, you know, do start working on some trees to get the background in there a little more so that that can tack up because the layers are not too thick. Some thickness in the whites, obviously, but uh, when I'm done for the session, I'll go and I'll just wisp over the lines where there's ridges of paint and stuff to prepare for the next layer. storage on my iPad so we're going to call this stage one. Been at it an hour and a half and I've got enough layers on here that when I do part two uh, get some more layering and having this nice uh, paint layer on here to get more paint sticking to it, it's going to be nice. I feel that I've interpreted the scene pretty nice. I like some uh, shadows going on here and uh, how the shadows on the on this uh, hay bales are going. I really was attempting to not go uh, too dark in the shadows and trying to use, uh, pay attention to a little chromatic bit with the color, like having it be more richer in the sunlight sort of thing. And uh, that's what I'll try to maintain as I go forward. And I want to thank everybody for joining me. And, uh, until uh, next uh, stage, it's going to be a little bit before I get to it because I have some stuff I have to do, but thank you for joining me and uh, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. I would really appreciate it and for more content. Uh, and that's it. So see you later. While we're doing the uh, end screen on this video, I'll shoot some close up of the painting a little bit. Move around. Layers are not that heavy yet. Mostly just kind of scrubbed in there. So future layers will be juicier. That's it.